live with Anthony Salarzano, writer and director of Varsity Punks. Um, my first question is, can you tell us a bit about what Varsity Punks is? Yeah, so uh, we're an independent movie. Uh, the main story is about, uh, it's a high school story about two characters who are very different. A cool quarterback and this punk cross-country runner. And after the quarterback gets injured, he's going to end up joining the, the cross-country team because he's a talented runner. But it's all about these guys trying to get along. They've never gotten along. So, you know, we'll have fun exposing the whole high school culture, what it's like to try to belong as a teenager. And, um, and also chasing the, like, athletic glory, trying to be a, a good team. Yeah. What is the role of Mountain View High School and their kids? Well, um, so you guys are the setting. I mean, we really want this to be an authentic El Monte movie that people are going to be proud of seeing us and say that. That's, that's my story, you know, that's our story. Um, you see a lot of teenage movies on television, but uh, just you're like, what high school is that? It's not some make-believe land. So we really want people to look like us. I mean, there's no reason why uh, um, the cool guy at school, the cheerleader, the, the jock, they can't look like people from Mountain View High School. So we did have to get professional actors for parts, but we, we tried extensively to, to cast people from our hometown. And, and obviously the extras we wanted the, extra, the Mountain View student body to fill in all the extra parts. How can kids get involved to like become an extra role or have like a minor part? Well, we're shooting pretty soon, but we're gonna be we're we're uh, we're posted up right here at the it's like a media center inside the library. There's a room. It's called I think two seventy three or something. I don't know. Well, yeah, we're inside the library. We'll be we'll be here all week. Um, we'll be here even while we're shooting. So if you guys want to stop by and tell us that hey. I'm interested in a role. We'll try to, you know, we'll check you out, see if, uh, if there's a, a character that you fit, and, um, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Also, if you just want to help out on the production side, like learning the behind the scenes, behind the camera stuff of making a movie, uh, we can use all the help we can get. Can we expect any big stars, like James Franco? Maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. James Franco was a, was a, that was a crapshoot, but um, we're trying. We're trying for a few. There's a few that we're talking with. I mean... <laughs> For one of the football coaches, um, we're in contact with Noel Gugliemi. He, he's the guy that plays like a cholo in every movie. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen him. He's in Training Day. He was in Fast and the Furious. Anyway, he would we would take him out of the cholo role and make him like a teacher or coach, uh, which would be refreshing. But uh, uh, Coach Mendel part, I almost don't want to say because I don't want to get too excited about stuff. But yes, we'll, we might expect a couple of B-name actors. Not super famous, but recognizable. Over the next few months, filming is taking place. What can we expect? Is there gonna be like a huge scene? No, you know what? We're gonna work with what we got. I mean, the the, the dance. You guys got a dance going on, so we're just gonna help make it look cooler, more lights. Um, uh, the pep rally. We're just gonna make sure it looks solid. And besides that, we'll, we'll be shooting in classrooms, at the field. But the, the the cool stuff really lining up is we're gonna have a football scene which we're going to need a lot of people to fill up the stands and make it look like a football game, doing the wave and all that stuff, um, cheerleaders, the band. So those will be really fun scenes that we'll be shooting at night, so we'll keep you posted on that. Those are coming up still in like three weeks, so we got time for those. Um, high school party scenes, I mean, it's a high school comedy, so uh, we got to throw very very controlled parties because um, yeah. we'll be shooting a movie, but we want to fill it up with a bunch of youngsters, and people are down, especially 18 and over, just because it's going to be a, a day at night. Um, you guys are welcome to be part of it. So. You are a collaborator. How have you discovered your members of your team, and how do you keep a relationship strong with them? You know what? It's uh, it's crazy how it happens. It just unfolds a little bit by luck. But you start with your 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 base friends. You know, you start with who you know, your friends and family, and you figure out who's got time <laughs> and who's got the talent and, and the drive to want to be part of this. So I I, I talked to some people connected to me and. Um, I told them what we're doing, and if I saw that they were excited, then I brought them on first. And from, from there, I branched out, and we put up um, postings for, for jobs to of all the crew people that we need. But we started with our, our closest friends. We started from there. People around us, friends and friends and friends. We've seen it all on the big screen. What do you do to keep it fresh? What makes varsity puns different? How do you subvert the process to keep it original? Yeah, um, I mean, just the whole thing of how we're collaborating with Mountain View. It's gonna make it feel real because these things. I mean, we're gonna see real kids, like real events, kind of happening. Of course, controlled so that we can shoot it. Um, but that's refreshing, and this just the way we're pulling resources. Movies are expensive to make. It's um, it's hard for it to come out of to be in a multi-product. 
But I mean, we're going to be shooting a scene like at Lampo's Pizza, uh, PNL, like liquor store. These guys are letting us shoot for free because we're pitching to them what we're doing and how we're collaborating with the community of Amman. So we're getting a, stuff for, a lot of stuff for free. And uh, I mean, that's just something unique about our process. Well, there you have it. That's it. My interview with Anthony Solorzano. Glad to meet you. And Varsity Fun, stay posted.